So hi and welcome to this video. So today what we're going to be doing is uh, we're going to be going over uh, functions and lists in Python. So as you can see in the last tutorial we left off we had our basic function called my function that when it's um, that returned hello space and then whatever the parameter that was fed into it. <clears throat> uh, and you can see now if we uh, hit F5 it runs in the uh, Python shell and it prints whatever um, or returns whatever variable we give it. So to get started in this video what I'm going to be doing is uh, we're going to be creating uh, our a new function uh, and what it's going to be called is maths so uh, we can actually just get rid of this function and uh, in the last video I said to, do, uh, to define a function or create a function which is the same thing basically uh, all you do is type in def and then the function name and I said this one was going to be called maths and then uh, obviously we give it the two parentheses and then the uh, colon like in the last video so the minute what we're going to do is we're just going to tell our function to uh, return um, we could just say this is the maths function so if we save that and we hit F5, okay, uh, yeah, we forgot to run our function, and why was it so slow? I don't really know. So what we're gonna do is we're just gonna go down here and print maths. Save it again, um, and we're just gonna hit F5. And as you can see, it says this is the maths function, which is exactly what we uh, told it to do. So we can leave this here, um, the print maths uh, down here. And what we can what we will do is we can say um, we can give it some variables. So the first one we'll give it is num one, num two, and then uh, we could just call this one two underscore do. So now there's three variables, so it'll have three parameters. And what we're going to say is um, if uh, if uh, two underscore do um, equals, uh, let's say, m, or no, a, a, let's say that, then, uh, which is, then we just go down and we, do something in our if statement and uh, I'll go over if statements more in the next video but uh, just copy as I do in this one so we're just gonna say um, print a and then in here what we're gonna do is we're just gonna say one two and then a so uh, a is a, a string, so it has to be surrounded in quote either double or single quotes. So now if we hit F5. So as you can see, it uh, it printed A, and then it gave us none. So let's have a look. So it says it printed A, but obviously my, uh, this is caused because we didn't tell it um, an else. So we'll just say L, L if, which is like the same as saying else if, L if. Um, print hello so let's save that and then hit F5 might not have been the problem but okay invalid syntax so uh, I forgot so we just do so if and then uh, print hello now we hit F5 okay so uh, obviously I forgot you have to say l if to do uh, if to do doesn't equal um, a then we just print hello so if we had f5 this probably wasn't the problem so okay that uh, wasn't the problem but it doesn't matter so what we're gonna say here is l if doesn't equal a we can change that to l if equals <laughs> Um, S. Then we can just 
copy this and then paste it in alif equals um d i don't know where we could do forward slash no i'll just do d to keep it simple and i'll explain this in a minute and then m and then pow so uh, what this is, is it's obviously a maths function. So A stands for add, S stands for subtract, D stands for divide, M stands for multiply, and POW stands for power, sort of like um, times by itself a certain number of times. So what we're going to do is we're just going to say S, and we should get hello. And it says hello. So what we're going to do is we're going to say if... Uh, to do equals a then we're just gonna say um, return num1 plus num2 so now if we change this to an a we should get 3 so if we had a 5 it gives us 3 and uh, the reason we got none is actually because I told it to uh, print and we were already using print so we just have to say return in the function so as you can see, it uh, gave us three because it added the two numbers in the uh, function. So if we change this to a uh, seven, it should give us eight. So if we hit F5, it gives us eight. So now we know our function is working for add, we're gonna do subtract. So we can uh, copy this, change the return to minus, or uh, change it so it minuses the numbers. Then change it so it um, divides the numbers and obviously now multiplies them and then give, uh, does them to the power of them set of a the well what this means is it multiplies num one to the power uh, by itself a certain number of times which is specified by num two so I'm going to show you that so. Uh, let's do 2 times or 2 to the power of 6 which is the same as writing uh, uh, which is the same as writing if you're um, writing math you would just do 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 um, yeah that's it so that's basically what it means so let's delete that so we're gonna change this to pow and then we're going to hit F5 to uh, once it saves. So if we hit F5, as you can see, it says 64 because 2 to the power of 6 is 64. And now if we change this to a D for divide, 2 divided by 6 is um, going to give us a negative number. Or not negative number. Um, you'll see it probably won't work. Yeah, it'll give us zero because uh, what we gave it was two integers and integers obviously have to be, they can't have decimals in them. But this isn't our function's fault. The person doing it just has to change one of these to a point zero, uh, either this or this, and then hit F5. And it gives us uh, the answer. So um, obviously I don't need to change all of these, but... We'll just do multiply, so this should give us 12, it gives us 12, well 12.0 12 because we converted the first one into a float which converts our answer into a float. So there's our uh, first function, well second really, but it's uh, sort of useful, but there is problems, I mean obviously you can only do two numbers and it would probably be easier just to do, um, I don't know, 3 divided by 2 if you wanted, and then you could do multiply by 2 or whatever. I mean, it's not a very useful function, but it's a function nonetheless. So, uh, the next thing we're going to be doing is um, we're going to be going over lists and, um, well, to avoid confusion, uh, I'm just going to uh, start or delete all this. Okay, so we just deleted all this and we're starting with a clean document, nothing in it. And I'm going to tell you what a list is. And if anyone's familiar with another programming language, you'll work it out pretty quickly. So let's create a list and call it um, 
uh, let me see the um, languages. Let's just say that languages equals, and then when you're creating a list, you have to put it inside two square brackets, and then each item in your list is in is uh, added like this in between two uh, single quotes, and then a comma to separate the items, and then two single quotes again. So let's say languages, and I'm talking about computer languages, so we could say PHP, C, um, obviously, Python, JavaScript, um, what else is there? I don't know, HTML is not really a language, but we'll just include it in this anyway. And then, I don't know, CSS. So there's our list of um, items. It's if you're if you've ever done any programming, you'll know uh, that this is basically just an array, except uh, you can tell it's not an array because uh, if it was an array, I'd need to import the array module, and um, there's a few slight differences with the array, but lists are uh, pretty much they're pretty similar. So here's our list, and we can uh, print specific parts of our list. So say I wanted to do our print a part of our list. Uh, since languages, since we said languages equals, and then we said it equals a list, then this is obviously a variable, so we print it like any other variable. So if we printed it in here, and then we in between add two single quotes, and then uh, we hit F five, it prints us like or it prints out languages, but that's not what we want. We wanted to print an item of our list, and then since it's a variable, we do it like any other. So, uh, since it's um, a list, uh, we have to put two square brackets around what we want to print, and we have to tell it which item to print. So you'll see if I hit zero or type in zero, uh, you'll think, well, there's no zero item because one, two, three, four, five, six. There's six items, so that's one, that's two, that's three, etc. Well, in computers. Uh, since it's computers, you'll know everything works in ones and zeros, and um, a list for computers, they'll they'll um think that number zero is actually this, which is number one to us. So they start at zero, so they go zero, one, two, three, four, five. So they'll think this p um whenever I tell it to I put that, it like put PHP. So we hit F five. It gives us a uh, PHP. And if I was to, I put, uh, even though there's six items in the list, since it starts at zero, this is number five. So if I, I put this and save it first, it gives us CSS. And that's basically how lists work. Um, so, so uh, what, we're, what we can also do is we can get rid of this and we can say, um, print um, Francis whoops that's not a variable so print Francis no whoops we can create a variable called Francis equals Francis then we can say print um, Francis and then we can um, uh, print specific characters out of it. So as I said, this will be zero. This will be one. This will be two. So if I said I wanted to print character one, it should print R. So if I hit F5, it gives me R. So that's basically um, an introduction. Well, sort of. That's all you need to learn about lists. That's what they're used for. Well, not. It's not actually all they're used for. I mean, they can be used for other things, but that's just some examples, and that's some examples of functions. So. Uh, I hope you enjoyed this video. Don't forget to like, favorite, and subscribe. And um, subscribe to the show if you liked it. And I'll see you next time.